Right. Certainly one of the movie stars of the uh, 50s and 60s is the gal who is with us today. Famous for her uh, sexy looks and her singing style. Uh, of late, she's been re-emerging on the club scene with a new scene. This is not you I'm talking about. Uh, not you. With a new singing career. And if your memory needs a little refreshing, and I'm sure it doesn't, I want you to watch this scene with Mamie Van Dorn from the film Teacher's Pet, which starred Clark Gable and Doris Day. Here's Mamie. At the college campus scene, I was elected campus queen, and I got a degree for anatomy directly from the dean. I drove that professor insane with my I never saw Clark Gable so nervous in a movie before. No. You uh, bumping up there in front of him. I know. Did you notice that I couldn't do any front bumps in those days? Oh, that wasn't allowed? No. Just side bumps? Just side bumps in the arms. Yeah, yeah. Did and you know how to do a front bump? <laughs> Is there a mustache in Mexico? <laughs> I want to write that down. What's that? Is there a mustache? <laughs> Don't take any wooden nickels. <laughs> was, was there a little affair there? Well, um... That was always rumored well, in Hollywood. Well, I tell you what, Gable saw me in the Warner Brothers commissary, and he was making a film there at the time, um, and when he saw me, I, he told his agent he wanted me to be in his next movie, and that was Teacher's Pet. That really went on, Yeah, uh-huh, huh? and so my agent called me and asked me how I'd like to do a movie with Clark Gable, and I said, are you kidding? You know, he says, no. And uh, they had written a part in for me with Pearl, for Pearl Berg and Seton, and, um, uh, that's how I got the movie, otherwise I wouldn't have been in it. And when I met Gable, I was very nervous because he was my idol. And, um, King of Hollywood. Absolutely. Um, but when I went into his dressing room, I noticed there were a lot of my photographs on the wall. And that's, that surprised me. I, I didn't, because I really had kind of feelings. You know how you, when you meet somebody and you know that you like them. And I didn't know how he felt. And I think that hadn't we both been married to others, you never know. You know, I think we would have definitely got together. The obvious question is, what were you doing in his dressing room? <laughs> well, he invited me in there. Yeah. And, um... <laughs> well, you'll have to read my book, Naked in the Rain. <laughs> Naked in the Rain? <laughs> Was it raining that day, or...? Uh, no, uh-uh. <laughs> but that's the name of the book that I'm doing. What is Naked in the Rain? Well, I, I used to run around naked in the rain. Um, I still... You only wear... You waited for the rainy days? Yes, I did. I used to take a shower in the rain. Uh, I, I used, when I used to live on Sunset Plaza Drive on top of the mountain. But if there was a drought, you were got a little raunchy? <laughs> I dried up. <laughs> well, that's why one of the reasons why I'm calling it. It's a, it's a double meaning. Ah, ah. Naked yeah, in the rain. Yeah. Now, it was Howard Hughes. Mm, Howard Hughes. Who was really responsible for you. Yes. Um, I was Miss Palm Springs when I was 15. I didn't know that. Yeah, I yep. used to live at the Montecito Hotel. My mother and I would, would go up there, and so I won Miss Palm Springs, and then what other titles? Um, Miss Eight Ball, and oh, Miss Eight Ball. 
In the side pocket? No, I, I, it was uh, the press club. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. Miss Eight Ball. Well, that, that's the There must be a Mr. Eight Ball that you could win, uh, Jim Jay. <laughs> it was, uh, Marilyn Monroe was the Miss Eight Ball the year before. Oh. And then Howard Hughes saw me um, in the newspapers and immediately had his casting director call me. And I went over and they signed me to four movies. I was underage and went through that whole thing. And, yeah. and he... Uh, his handling of young... Oh. Starlets was very strange. Handling? <laughs> With white gloves on, more or less. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, he, he had them stashed all over Hollywood. Well, um, when I met him, he, he was, had a mustache, not a mustache, a beard, beard, a lot of yeah. hair on his face. In those days, you just, that was a no-no. I mean, I'd never seen a lot of hair on somebody's face like that. And he um, took me to lunch, I remember, and he asked me if I was a virgin. And, uh, <laughs> and what was your answer? Like a virgin. <laughs> well, um, my answer was, you'll never know. Ah, uh, and okay. didn't he? <laughs> you'll have to read Naked in the oh, Rain. Oh, Naked in the Rain. There's a book. Well, uh, why, why do you think that was important to him? Well, I think he just liked young girls, and uh, now I can understand why. I didn't at that time. Why can you understand mm -hmm. now? Well, because I'm older and I understand why guys like him 15. <laughs> <laughs> well, what have you noticed? Ah. I'm doing the Junior Miss pageant. <laughs> not when this show plays, you're not. <laughs> uh, uh. But you've dated a lot of young guys. Yes, it just seemed like it turned out that way. Um, I didn't ask them their age. I just like them young, you know. I like them older, too, but I end up with young ones. Uh, why? Well, a lot of them... Well, some of them are in better shape. <laughs> <laughs> look, at her, look, look at her looking straight ahead. Did you know that? No. I meant to tell you, Merv, I watch your show all the time. I said, you God, mean? you haven't changed a damn bit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, but Bo Belinsky got there before I did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, remember Bo? I do remember Boy, him. Boy, he had the greatest record going in baseball. Then he met you, and we never heard from him again. <laughs> well, he, he uh, had a no-hitter. The first no-hitter is the Angels. But what about had. the game? The game. Oh, you mean, oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I always said he had a ten-cent head and a million-dollar arm, and I don't think he appreciated that. Mm. <laughs> I guess a guy wouldn't. <laughs> Write that one down. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. But Mamie, um, where are we? Oh, so he did he make a movie with you, uh, uh, Howard Hughes? Howard, I did four movies with Howard uh, for Howard, but I was just like a, a bit player in it, you know. And yeah. uh, I was in his kind of woman with Jane Russell. I remember I was like just a kid, and mm. uh, I got to meet uh. Bob Mitchum and Jane Russell. I was having a ball meeting all these celebrities and. Uh, but the roles that I was, I was playing were just little two-liners. You know. They always built a great rivalry. I can remember some of your appearances. You were married to uh, Ray Anthony at the time. Ray Agony. Oh, Ray Agony. <laughs> uh, and, and I remember you, you would appear places and the mob scenes that were always around you. Uh, was that exciting to you? And they had a rivalry oh, yes. going with you and Marilyn yeah, Monroe? Marilyn, Marilyn and I were very good friends. Yeah. There was nothing, you know, it's just the studio was, was doing all this publicity that really, we weren't like that at all. We were very good friends. By this time you were at Universal. Right. And they were trying to build you as the answer to yes. Marilyn. But, but she was getting better pictures. Right. She was well established when I came along as the answer to her. Yeah. And um, unfortunately, the movie studios at Universal that I was at just didn't put me in the right movies. They just yeah, gave I, me the dumb I wrote dumb down some of these roles. titles, my word, the running, dumb, running Wild. I was playing a, a juvenile delinquent in a lot of those movies. High School Confidential, Born Reckless, Sex Kittens Go to College. <laughs> this one I love, Navy versus the Night Monsters. <laughs> Untamed Youth, The Girl in Black Stockings, oh, and, and Vice Raid. <laughs> So you never made it to the Oscars? No, I didn't. Uh -huh. I just, I watched. Look, we got some of the posters oh, yeah. there. Yeah. What do you think when you look at those? And... Well, I, you know, a lot of the uh, rock and roll movies now that I've done are very famous. I'm popular in Europe and all over. Right. And there's, um, there are kids out there that know me 
you know, and it's really funny. They, they say, Mamie, come back. We want to <laughs> see you again. Yeah. Now, you're heading out into clubs, are you, Mamie? Oh, I'd like to do some... I have been doing clubs and discos and recording and writing a book, and I've got two movies, one in Europe and one here that I'm doing, and uh, things are happening, and also a Broadway show. I'm possibly doing one. That would be terrific. Yeah. Right? yeah. Let me do a commercial, and if we come back, will you sing for us? I want to hear you. Thank you. Okay, Mamie Van Doren to sing right after this work. Oh, can't wait. Mamie's going to sing, What Do I Have? Or What Did I Have? What Will I Have? Will you have some? What is it? What do I have? I don't have now. I can't think of it. Here's Mamie Van Dorn. What did I have that I don't have? What could he want that I lost track of? What did I do that I don't do the way I did before? Everything's there that once was there. There's nothing I've got a great big lack of Same little me as you can see And maybe a lot more I'm not a victim of time I am just in my prime Up to date, not out to last By my past, what could he love? There's none of I didn't lose the sweet warm trick of I'm gonna be the same friend me and I know how what did I have I don't have now what could he give that I can't give he'll get the love that he won't tire Instantly.